I'm here today at the Film Museum. It's the 10th of October 2017 to sculpt Eamon Holmes. She is sculpting my head. Why? Mine is not to reason why. Mine is but to do and die. And it's wonderful that she's doing it. Eamon has been to our home um, to do the programme, How the Other Half Lives and he asked if I would knock up a sculpture of him very quickly. After we finished the interview, Francis said, I've done this for you, would you like me to complete this? And I thought, gosh, I'd love this. So this will be a one-off, the one and only Eamon Head. Francis asked me if I wanted to join them, as I'm a sculptor, and um, I thought it was a very worthy cause, and I was very happy to have my work involved in it. I tend to exhibit alongside my mum a lot of the time, when I can, and you know, it works well. My name is Jonathan Sands, I'm Chief Executive of the London Film Museum. We're hosting Francis and uh, colleagues for uh, this special exhibition in support of Gesher. Jonathan really wanted to support that charity and then I knew that I had to finish Eamon's head so I put two and two together and I sort of thought it would all work well. He was uh, completely taken by the school and the idea and the passion with which Sarah and I had given to setting the school up. Gesha is a new primary school for children with autism and we're hoping to help a lot of children through various different innovative techniques and therapies to give them the best start in life. We're very much excited to see that progressed into something bricks and mortar and, and really come to fruition. I think we've all got a, a duty to ourselves as well as other people to give back to society. Opening new schools and helping people is an important thing. So this is a good way of doing it and of raising money. I never get used to it. It's always nerve-wracking because it's in front of lots of people, but I have done so many. And the reason that I love doing it is, first of all, I'm doing it for charities always. Secondly, it makes me realise how much I can produce if I'm positive to them. I'm supposed to keep quiet while she sculpts, but I won't. And I think she's cool with that because she just wants to get a bit of personality in there as well. He's got quite an interesting face because it's, well, I found it quite hard to capture actually because he's... I guess, just some faces, I guess, are harder than others. I think he's got a very uh, friendly face. Um, it's soft, and um, I think he'll be fun to do. Is she going to have enough clay for my head? Because there are those who would say, I've got a big head, and Frances has proven that. She's absolutely, you see the size of that head. You know, it's proportionally some of the things are bigger than it would be. He's amazing. I, he's, I mean, as a subject, the face is interesting, but he is so funny and he was wonderful to sculpt. I would like to teach people how you can achieve so much by being just non-stop positive. First of all, she's got a lovely personality. She's got no, no bad feelings or no bad thoughts in her head. When you're with her, you start to equate, I mean, this lady does that work. How does that go together? Because she's not pretentious in any way and she's not forceful in any way. But my goodness me, when you talk to her, you realize what an amazing talent that she possesses. She's very passionate, very kind, um, very giving of herself and her time. And she's really interested in finding out more about the school and the challenges that our children have, which is wonderful. I think her work's amazing. Uh, the way that she gets a likeness is incredible. Um, also, she seems to have a bit of their personality in it as well. You sort of, you don't want to look the way you look. You want to look, yes, you would like it to be flattering, but you want to recognise yourself or characteristics of yourself there. And when I look at what Frances has created, I can see me there. And I was just so complimented that she wanted to use me as a subject and that she has completed this and that we're helping charity by doing it, so I'm, I'm chuffed. <laughs>